Hi, Mr. Tastic, and welcome to day 30 wow. of the June Drawing Bonanza. It is the last day of this drawing challenge. I'm so excited. After this, we're back to the normal routine of one video coming out every single Tuesday, every single week. Um, and I'm so excited. Why? Well, one, I'm not going to be crazy anymore doing this every single day. Um, on top of pff, all the other things I'm doing, like podcasts, I got blog, my newsletters, Mr. <laughs> TPT store, Artastic Collective, ArtasticKids.com. This is on this is on top of that. So I'm excited because we're gonna be drawing an anchor today and it's a little bit frustrated because somebody is letting the boat drift in the waves and is bouncing on the floor of the ocean. Anyways, it's a hard life being an anchor. Last day of the June Drawing Bonanza. I hope your drawing skills have a greatly increased. Please subscribe to the channel because I am trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. Wow! That's what happens when you make a decision. Oh, it's powerful. Anyways, so grab something to draw with and something to draw on and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, welcome back. Today is the very last day of the June Drawing Bonanza, where I have been drawing every single day for the entire month of June. <gasps> Woo! I made it. You made it. We are tired together. Oh, okay. We are drawing an anchor today. An anchor. Like something that you would stick into the water to keep your boat from floating. All right. What are we doing? Circle at the top. Curve at the top. Yeah. Two lines out. And then we're going to curve it on either side. Okay. Draw a little circle in each one and bring it on back now anytime you need me to slow down or pause just hit that pause button and i'll freeze and then you can hit play when you're ready for me to continue all right from there we're going to bring two lines down and then we're going to curve up and around on either side now i'm going to make this a lot thicker than typical. The reason is because I want to put a face on it, obviously. All right, <laughs> here we go. So that's why I'm distorting the proportions because I need a face on my anchor. Okay. Got my 90s sound effects happening. Oh dear. Oh yeah, anchor. Oh yeah, this is a really dissatisfied anchor. Okay, two lines slightly curved down. Curved blue. Have not done this eye yet in this entire challenge series, so I am doing it right now. Okay, now we're gonna do the opposite for the mouth. Up and then across. So it's like the same shape, but alternating. Okay. For the eyes, we are going to do one big circle, one small circle in each eye, and then color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just those circles white. <sighs> just got real intense in here. Anybody else feeling that intense vibe? If you are, give me a like so I can see how intense you are when you are coloring. Otherwise, how will I? Needs a tongue. Oh yeah. Lowercase letter M. Color in the dark of the mouth. Actually, it looks like teeth. Okay, I'm making my I messed mine up, so I'm gonna make it to teeth. Yeah. Because I did. All right. Let's add. Let's add some dissatisfied eyebrows. Oh yeah. I'm an anchor, and I'm not satisfied with anything. Maybe the maybe the person who has this boat up here in the top. Letting the boat kind of bounce on the waves and it's drifting and bouncing on the ground. Eventually it's gonna wash up in shore and it's gonna be all ah, dramatic. 
So that can happen. True fact. That is not a Mr. Tastic fact, but a real one. Okay, adding lines around it to give it some texture. Look how much, look at that. I just add lines and it gives it texture. All right, we are on the ocean floor. So dry. A little shadow below, but I'm not gonna shade it with gray. I'm gonna shade it with hatching lines. Ooh, but if I'm fancy, I can make them cross hatch. That's some fancy shading right there. You can even draw pebbles if you want. You can even draw seaweed if you want to be super fancy because this is the last day of the challenge. You can add bubbles if you're so fancy, you're like, woo, it's day 30 of this challenge. And once you're done, you are ready to color. Okay. All my markers are biting the dust. I'm gonna have to use blue. I'm gonna have to make a blue anchor. I don't have gray. This is a problem when you're all your when you use all your grays for shading. And you find an anchor color. So again, you can make your artwork any color you want. It's your artwork. Do what makes you happy. Today I'm doing a blue anchor. My artwork, and I want blue anchor, and I also don't have any gray. You can make your anchor the way you would like it using and color it using your favorite colors. You can use your favorite choice art making mediums. All kinds of vibes, right? Which means I cannot use that blue. Now I'm going to shade with a different blue because I need it. Gotta think outside the box here. When we get to day 30. Unintentional awesomeness. Oh, when things work out, the creepier the better. Thank you. Hello. Okay. Whoa! I've never used this green. What is this? Lagoon blue? Is it a blue or is it a green? What is this? Oh my gosh. I didn't even know I had this. Brand new. Oh, hold on. All right, my lovely friend, that is the end of this episode. Please give me a like if you have. I forget why. If you like the color blue, give me a, I don't know. Just give me a like, huh? There we go, cause I, yeah. And subscribe to this channel. <laughs> oh yeah, if you were feeling intense, if you were feeling intense from this challenge or today in this episode, and you're like, yes, I'm so intense, give me a like for that reason. And also, um, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Make sure that you share all the videos, and hey, I would love to hear all about it, uh, your views on this, this whole drawing challenge, 30 days of drawing, this is the last day of it. Day 30, we are done. Uh, maybe make take a whole picture of all your drawings on the ground. Share them to social media. Take me at Mizzartastic. I would super love to see them. See all your summer vibes. And I hope you have a great summer. As well, I will see you in my regular schedule of posting once every week. So make sure you continue to join me and grow with me as I will be posting a ton of new super cool content. You can look forward to them every Tuesday. And thank you so much for joining me on the challenge. I am Mizzartastic signing out. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic and I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.